Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video it's just going to be me talking about uh, what is the SSA rating or the Short Shot Archery rating, why I came up with it, and just to kind of see what everybody else has to say about it, uh, to see if there's another way or anybody has another way I should go about measuring things. So first, uh, let me explain uh, why I came up with this. And, uh, you know, just go through my thought process on it. And then maybe, uh, you know, you know, the people watching, you watching, uh, could, you know, maybe uh, help me tweak this to make it something that is more effective than it, than it is. Because I don't think it's bad where the SSA rating stands now, but I want it to be uh, something even more useful, if, if that's possible. So first off... Uh, SSA rating stands for Short Shot Archer Rating. As far as I know, no one else has a, a, a limb rating system. Uh, right now, this is only for limbs. I don't know how I would do risers or anything like that. At least, at least I'm, I'm just starting with limbs. Maybe we can move on to other things. So basically, this isn't an official rating system. It's something that I created, at least to my understanding, unless somebody out there has already done this. But I, it puts the limbs on a scale for all of us to uh, to see. Now, you know, maybe my rating is a waste, but that's why I'm making this video. I'm making this video to explain it so others can understand it because I've had had questions about it. And at the same point in time, uh, since you know I have one brain, and the people you know you watching, well, you all have a brain. <laughs> Hopefully, we could even we could put something together that's even better. Better, yeah, <laughs> yep. Brain working real good. So is the tongue. Uh, maybe we can all come up with something that's even better than this and, and tweak it so that it's more effective for archers in the future. Um, this is just like an independent way of rating limbs so that people that are looking to buy limbs can try to get a more clear picture on uh, you know what's going on. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking of it as kind of like a... Uh, like a rating system they have for like appliances and cars and basically everything under the sun. Like a like a, a buyer's guide to uh, archery products. You know, I want to be I want to make videos, give people my take on them, and then have a hard numbers system where you know this is the weight I got when testing this. This is the performance of said limb when testing this. It gives you this rating. And then you can look at that rating and compare it to ratings of other limbs. Because in my mind, you don't just want the highest performing limb. You want the highest performing limb that works for the style of shooting and how you want the bow to shoot for you. For example, you wouldn't just want a fast limb if you're a shooter that likes a very smooth shot and say that really fast limb that's the fastest out there doesn't have that smooth of a shot. You know, for some reason it's just very fast but not that smooth. Um, it's very uh, it's a very strong limb, very strong in its shot. You know, maybe that, that's not something you want to put your money into because maybe you're more of a shooter that likes a more um, smooth shot uh, they like just everything to be kind of more laid back. Um, if if you shot more than uh, more than one set of limbs, you you can you can tell, especially in the higher end ones, uh, there is a shot feeling difference in each of them. Well, that's why I want to come up with this scale because because most people don't have the opportunity to shoot as many limbs as I have. And uh, years ago, I didn't have this opportunity, but a thousand videos like this later. And five years of dedicating uh, my time and effort uh, into making videos and helping to promote archery, I've finally started getting into a position where I can test uh, a lot of the limbs on the market. Of course, uh, a lot of it at my own personal expense, uh, but that that's another story. Uh, we're sticking on the uh, you know why I'm doing this SSA rating, and but that, but that's why because limbs are expensive. Uh, archery in general, especially on the higher end side of it where you're really getting limbs that have character because I notice low end limbs they're they're pretty similar so far from my experience. There's not really a major difference. Uh, you know a speed difference, but they they shoot they feel about the same. 
For some reason, the higher end ones, because they're using so many different materials and stuff and the processes that go into making them, I can tell you, you know, with a lot of certainty that all the high end limbs on the market, they all have their own little thing. And it, it seems like particular companies have their own like style of making them that, that translates into how those limbs feel and how they perform and and, and things like that. So I feel like there needs to be a number for that. And that's why we have the SSA rating. I'm just trying to make sense of what is out there. And then if I can continue to do this for as long as I continue to do this for hopefully, you know, uh, 30, 40, 50, even 60, 70 years, I'm pretty old in 70 years. Uh, but, <laughs> but you can see the development of limbs over time or the lack of development in limbs over time. I feel like this is a great third party way to hold um, archery companies kind of in check. You know, they need to continue to develop their product uh, because otherwise third parties are going to be able to see that the products are no longer developing and we are sitting in stagnation. You know, maybe there is a peak to uh, the efficiency of a limb and things like that, and then other things have to change to improve that. But it'll be interesting to track, and then that way, you know, you can look back, you know, ten years from now, and say, "Whoa, look! I shot, you know, this set of limbs here. Look how less efficient. Look how lower its rating is compared to the limbs of uh, 2029." Um, so with that. Uh, what is the SSA rating doing? Uh, right now, we're measuring physical weight and draw weight. Um, we're dividing those, and that's how we're getting our limb efficiency number. I don't think this is too bad of a way. It's tough, though, because you really have to still compare it to the feet per second of the limb. Because if you look at my charts on shortshotarchery.org under the archery data, and you go under the, like, the full data tab, uh, where it's showing everything. Let me bring it up on my site. Um, if you go under uh, limb data, hopefully this name doesn't change in the future, it might. Um, you can see that uh, the Zest limbs are rated higher than uh, the Win and Win NSGs based on uh, physical weight and draw weight. But if you look at the actual feet per second of the arrow, I was getting. Uh, about two feet per second faster on average out of the NSG limbs than the MKX tens. So my scale kind of makes some sense of this, but I feel like I'm probably still missing something. I don't know if I should just combine uh, the speed of the arrow uh, into the number. Uh, it's something that I can play around with more, but at the same point in time, I wanted to make this video to answer people's questions about why I did this and then to see you know, what kind of feedback there is uh, from the community. Uh, there's lots of extremely intelligent people uh, in archery and just people that have been around a lot longer than me. So hopefully uh, all of you can you know, put forward if possible, if you can think of something, some feedback, and I can try to work these things out and really try uh, my best to find a really solid way to rate limbs. And then from there, we can go move on to, you know, to risers and things like that um, if, if that's something that people are interested in and it actually has a meaningful uh, impact and improvement to archery. I really do think rating limbs uh, is meaningful. Um, you know, it's, it's making it into more of a competition than it already is, but it's also holding accountable. You know, there's an accountability uh, on the company's side. Um, because because I want the numbers to mean something, and companies say all the time, "Oh, this this is twenty five percent lighter. This is forty percent faster, fastest limb ever." And then they have a little asterisk at the bottom that we make, and it's like they're not false advertising, but they're advertising and they're giving you nothing about it. What what's what's twenty five percent better? Um, and what did you rate it on too? Like if you take you know, if, if XYZ bow company compares their slowest limb to their newest, fastest limb, of course there's going to be a huge improvement. Like, was it from the last model? Was it from five models ago? Um, and also, it, it is their own product. 
So of course you'd want to say good things about it. Why would you want to um, be overly strict on your own product? Then you won't make any money. And then that's going to cut into your R and D and it's going to hurt your bottom line. And then you'll have to lay off people. So like there's, there's, there's good and bad incentives to all of this. That's why I'm looking to do this from the third party perspective. Since I don't make limbs, I don't make risers. The only thing we make at Short Shot Archery to help support uh, this endeavor is uh, the wind socks and target flags and things like that. Things that I do not review. Uh, those things I make. <laughs> um, and th that's just uh, a way of, of this whole endeavor existing because there's not a lot of money to be made in, in ads. Not, not at all. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, that's why I am saying I'm independent. Nobody pays me to do the reviews uh, that I do. And uh, I think this is, a, this is a good way to go about it. I don't know where it'll go in the future, but I really want to continue this. And that's why I'm making this video again. You know, I keep kind of falling back on this, but th this is the reasons. It's, it's to support archery. Um, another thing too, continuing on with this, uh, it's kind of hilarious um, you, there's been a, a big rise in um, shops and top archers and stuff for all these different companies, all, all making videos and things telling you how great their product is. That's fantastic, and it, you know it's fine. Like there, there's there's nothing wrong with it to the point of yes, you know they're telling you about this product and how wonderful it is, but they're also involved in this product. Uh, their livelihoods and things like that are all tied to this product. And at the same point in time, there's no consideration really to uh, the people that are actually purchasing the products. Just like, here's our new thing, buy it. Here's our new thing, buy it. Six months later, here's our next new thing, buy it. And every single time, they're always better than the next one. So I want to put numbers behind that uh, to make it more, uh, more honest, more transparent. Some people probably won't like it. Uh, but I don't know. It's something that I've always wanted. I've spent a lot of money on archery. And uh, it would have been nice to know, oh, <laughs> this set of limbs was total garbage. Shouldn't have spent, you know, my money on it. Could have spent uh, 100 or $200 more and gotten a better set of limbs or, or, or whatever. Uh, things like that. Uh, this also feeds into uh, my reviews. So in past reviews, I was locked into, uh, you know, just my, like, my feel of the shot uh, how it reacted to me and how it shot for me. And I think this is good. I think this is an important point. You know, I need to be able to give my own feedback, but I also want there to be, uh, you know, data that's available so that you can see what the limb is actually doing when I am not shooting it. Because regardless of how talented I am who, who or whoever is shooting, uh, you know, said bow, uh, they're still a person and there's still going to be things affected by the, the human element involved in that shot process. So it's nice to have uh, the machine recorded numbers uh, on the side there that you can look at and kind of compare to what I'm saying. And then I can use them myself to really judge, uh, you know, what's going on because, uh, you know, there, there, there can always be a point in time where I think something is shooting, you know, either fast or slow or, or, or whatever. And then the numbers are telling me something different. So it's like, hmm, okay. You know, the numbers don't lie. Uh, but, you know, maybe my feeling on something is, is incorrect. Uh, so far, that hasn't been the case. I've been, I've been pretty spot on. At least I think so. Um, but it's nice to have that, though, because then you can compare those numbers to with other uh, products that I uh, review and then just other limbs uh, down the road. So basically, that is the SSA rating in a nutshell. I know I kind of like rambled on a bit about that, but uh, I feel like it's really important. And honestly, I just want to try to put you know good independent information on archery equipment out there so people can compare and make their own decisions on the equipment. Um, there's enough out there from people that sell these pieces of equipment for a living and who are, uh, you know, paid by these companies to shoot products telling you how great something is. Of course, it's going to be great. It's your job. I understand that you can't say anything negative about it. So with that, I think I have a nice position where I have no sponsors. Nobody pays me for anything. And I basically float. I float my own boat. Well, 
you know, thanks to everybody that purchases products and watches the videos and stuff that that definitely helps uh, definitely helps support the uh, the show here. So with that though, I think I can bring more to the table by offering uh, this third party, this independent uh, review of products and independent numbers that are either you know the same or different. Uh, from other companies. Uh, you saw it with the uh, review of the MK Zest limbs. I shot my Veracity limbs. I shot my Zest limbs and I compared it to the information that MK was putting out. And uh, I was pretty impressed that uh, basically uh, it was right on point. Uh, the two limbs reacted uh, height wise at 70 meters how MK said they would. You know, maybe it was the little bit further ends of the scale. But it was still there. It was still real, and uh, I really appreciated uh, their. They, they were pretty clear on uh, the performance gains that they were advertising. But being a third party and independent from MK, I was able to do that myself and actually prove if they were true or false. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I really appreciate uh, you know all the feedback. I'm really looking forward to seeing it in the, uh, the comment section down below. That way I can look at it, uh, try to you know piece something uh, together that's even better than what I currently have. So right now, SSA rating is physical weight and draw weight. Uh, we divide those and then that's how we get uh, our number. Uh, besides that, uh, you know, you kind of need to compare it to F, uh, the feet per second of the limbs. If there's some way to combine all three, that would be great. I'm just trying to, com you know, paint a more complete picture of how limbs perform so people can see that. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, happy shooting. And don't forget to check out uh, all this information on the limb data on the Shoreshot Archery site, shoreshotarchery.org.